There's nothing in this world more powerful than, than a smart and well-educated artist. And we're just gonna have to pretend that you're both. Oh my bad, that was that was Kool-Aid's art. Your art's good though, I like it, that's pretty good. I like First draw an upside down heart like this. Then we're gonna use that to form the shape of the booty. And don't forget to add the butt crease, oh yes. All right, already I'm kind of noticing a trend, all right? This trend of sexuality. I've never been sexual like this. I don't do this type of stuff on YouTube for our community. Where did she touch you? Where did Cooling touch you? Answer me, answer me. So we're gonna go through my Discord and uh, kind of roast some of my students' art. See what kind of damage Kool-Aid has done to the community, all right? So come on, let's go. No, oh, he looks angry. Man, I'd be pissed too if I looked like a giant hairy vein. Thanks a lot, Kool-Aid. Are you happy now? This is what you've created. All of this smexy sex talk. All the, you got all these kids sex crazy. They're all crazy for sex. I hope you're happy now. Look at it. Oh my, what is that? What is all this, is that, are those veins on the, you see what's going on now? Do you see what's happening to this community? It's just sex here and sex everywhere. It's all over the place, all in his face. Some kind of deflated thumb looking thing. This is a pretty good piece. I think I can draw over and kind of help this artist here. Kool-Aid hasn't gotten to everybody just yet, you know, so just. Stop. Doesn't even make any sense. The chin is not, e whatever. All right, here's a hotter way to draw side view characters. First, draw a circle, then draw this triangle shape thing. At the end of that shape is where the ear is. You see that sharp chin? Draw a diagonal line like this. This shows you where the tip of the nose is. Nothing is allowed to exceed that line. Not even the juicy lips. It doesn't even apply. That doesn't even apply to every... Si all right, let's scroll through and see if we can find one that works, all right? All right, this one. Wait, how does it work again? So first I do this little thing here. Hmm. Hmm. Too sexual. I don't like it. It's too sexual. Oh, now this is some good art right here. Look at this. Dang, these are sick. I like a lot of this. Yeah, Papa like. That's really good. Dang, even the flat color, the poses, everything about this. The folds on the clothes are really, really nice and simple. I like it when I see the students keeping these these folds really simple like this. Look, cooling hasn't destroyed everybody just yet, all right? Narcissist, very good job. They're just murdering a few zombies. Also, cooling hates our troops. Whoa! Easy there! I just, I'm, I'm trying to like Kool-Aid, but it's just not happening. I'm really trying. First, it's the sexuality and destroying our children, and now Kool-Aid is going after the troops. You don't go after the troops, Kool-Aid. I'm trying to be a better person here and change my life around and not get, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. All right, we're fine, we're fine. What is that right there, is that a tangent? Is this a tangent right here? Did Kool-Aid teach you this too? Oh, wow, that's that's awesome. Kool-Aid's just helping everybody out now with the tangents. All right, let's see if she's had anything to say about hair, all right? Because uh, some of you got some funky hair. Let's see what she says. Practice on the F boys. So I'll break down the hair again, but this time I'll be coloring it. I'm starting out with a very big brush, and only then do I use a smaller brush to add details. All right, you're kind of teaching people how to simplify. That's great. That's all, Everything's fine and dandy, all right? But the main thing is, and I talk about this all the time, is that you have to understand big, medium, and small, right? And design. If you're just drawing your little fancy plants, little F boys, and trying to have a good time, whatever. If you want to do that, fine. But you're missing the key element to design. And what the key element to design is big, medium, and small. All right, the big shape's gonna be right here. And the medium shape's gonna be back here, sticking out. And then the small shape's gonna be sticking off the front, all right? Again, if you're just trying to have fun and do your little illustrations, it's perfectly fine. You don't need to have any design sense. You don't need to be smart in the, the brain. But if you're in animation like me, then you have to be able to turn these characters every which way and the, the design has to be stable. So a lot of these hair designs need to be based on big, medium, and small designs. So that means this fluff of hair in the front, you're gonna take the main shape of this sucker and you're gonna be cutting in and out of that main shape. All right, so this way, you, the people watching you don't get lost in thinking that you're just creating magic, all right? You're not doing this stuff randomly. It's all coming from this one point up here, and it's creating this overall shape. And then from that, if you want to, you can cut in and cut out, and then add little tufts of hair coming, you know, stinking away and doing whatever they want. But that's the structure that you're not talking about, and I can understand, you know. If it's get, it gets a little confusing, ugh. All right, so let's take this artist for example. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Really good design, I actually like this. I like the quality of the line art, the way these shoulders are going this way, the hips are going that way. All right, looking pretty slick. All right, but watch out for that knuckle though. Uh, there's a piece of that finger potentially missing there. 
All right, but that's not what we're here for. The main thing is the hair design right here is basically medium, medium, medium. All right, so back here, you've got your big. All right, and then over here, you've got your little tufts of hair sticking out the front. And like I said before, you know, you've got these little stinks sticking off. And these are typically going to be smalls. All right, I'm trying to be reasonable right now. Don't, don't make me angry. It, it all comes back to this point, right? And you're creating this overall shape right here. All right, and that can be considered the medium. So in animation, this is turnable. You can, you can find whichever way this character is looking in space. And uh, we can see which way that character is turning. Very, very animatable. Very good job. I like that. All right, but the main issue here is that this medium shape is consisting of three similarly sized shapes. If you look at Keith from Voltron, is that this big piece in the front? Because Keith has one of those too. That typically comes up over. So we know this is the direction that the character is looking at all times. All right, that's not exactly how I would leave it, but uh, you get the idea. All right, maybe cooling kind of helps out a little bit here and there, you know. Maybe. Then that's... Oh, but this is just the normal now, you know, just drawing just big top ties. Oh, this is cute. I like this. Same thing with the hair scenario. These are like the smaller bits right here. Coming out this way like this up in this direction, that's fine. But uh, coming back down like this to connect like that, it's not this piece coming down isn't connecting anywhere. Everything kind of needs to flow back to the original source. All right. That's the way hair kind of works. So you can create this overall shape right here. That's perfectly Gucci, all right? That's perfectly fine. And you slink that back out, and then you probably want to have it come back in. Honestly, the best way to design it is just copy and paste that sucker, flip it around, and then just make those shapes a little bit different. And of course, this one's going to be bigger because it's closer to us. Ooh, shiny. I like it. Wait, what is that? Is that a tangent? What the? Do it again. Do it again. Let's see one more tangent. <laughs> this is just getting folds from the armpits. What I've observed is that the tighter clothes are, the more wrinkles they have. For example, the rolled up sleeves right here. Look at that. All right, Cooling, same issue here. I'm gonna keep it brief. The main issue that students have when it comes to folds and clothing, and I see that you might have this, maybe. Again, just like the last one, you're forgetting about big, medium, and small. All right, I'm not even gonna go into this, really. This is the big shape, this is the medium shape, and then you're gonna be creating a bunch of small shapes sticking off of that. Oh, look at all the wrinkles. Look at all these friggin' wrinkles that we can do, because then students start going in here and start doing all of this stuff, and all right, it looks fine for anime illustration if that's what you're trying to do. All right, so keep it simple. Don't be too complicated. All right, this student has a similar issue. You just got to focus on which shape you want to be the biggest, which shape you, that you want to be the smallest in the, uh, the folds. Could be something as simple as that. What I like is like fully clothed, right? Nothing overly sexual. This is a nice piece of art. I like this. I really like this. Oh, look, old Ethan. That's me. I don't know. Eh. What is it? Can we do snot? Can we have one second without the sexuality peeking in? What is she doing to this community? I don't Tiny neck syndrome. All right, this is an easy fix, easy. How are you gonna even swallow anything like that, bro? That's, a, that's, that's not a sexual joke. Don't let your mind go there. Don't let Kool-Aid corrupt you. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, you just gotta do the, this a little bit of this right here. Nope, but not like that. That's a tangent, all right? The thing's come, converging in this corner. Don't do that, all right? It could be something as simple as that. I see so many students doing this, all right? Stop it, please, stop. They, they're creating lines parallel, all right? Everything on the body is meant to balance and counterbalance itself, so there's always going to be a point of conversion, all right? Everything's gonna be slinking down to this little point down here somewhere, somewhere, somehow. Something is always going to be slinking back to a point. All right, what does she think about color theory? Let's see. The first is to pick a bunch of colors that you would want to use on your drawing. You could have maybe five colors on there. It doesn't matter how random they are. Just choose five. Did you just say to pick a bunch of random colors for your color design? Look, everything has to be designed out. There needs to be some reasoning to it, all right? This was an assignment for Ross Strauss class where he talks about using references. Sick. All right, let's use this one right here. The very, very simple thing that you forgot was the <laughs> big, medium, and small, all right? I know this is a thing that I'm talking about a lot right now, but it literally is in everything. So let me show you how it works in color theory. Not in color theory necessarily, but just how you do design, uh, how you design the colors out. So this is the big, this is the medium, and this is the small. I'm saying this because it's in fashion, it's in everything. And it's all you got to know, really. All right, so let's take this piece right here. We're going to take this little piece right here. Look, this is going to blow your little socks off right now. You literally just take that and make it white or make it whatever color you want. It's really that simple. And then you have a big, medium, and small in your color, uh, in your color design. There you go. Now it's popping. Oh, look, these are cool. Oh, these are sick. Look at this. Wow, these are really cool. I like these. Sick stuff. I like this. I bet you could print those suckers out and people would buy that stuff. That's awesome. I like this rendering style though. This face is awesome down here. What the heck is that right there? Look at this tangent. 
I swear to God. One more tangent. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. What she is doing to this art community is just disgusting. All right, look. The simple thing I'm gonna do is all you gotta do is just friggin' trace this sucker, and then you literally just edit it out to where you want it. There you go, no more tangent. <laughs> Students, please stop putting your shapes inside of other shapes. Like this foot inside the shape of the leg, don't do that. We're, we're designers, right? We have to design this out. What is that? What is that and that's sticking out of this thing's booty? All right, quick anatomy tip. If you can't do it with your own body, then it's probably, they're not gonna be able to do it, right? So I'm gonna pull my leg up and my friggin' knee is gonna hit like right about here. Good lord. That ain't right. Shorten that leg up. Get it out of here. Dang, this is crazy. She's <laughs> just casually killing these people going through the scene. Very nice. What is that turtle doing to her head? It's disgusting. This person's riding on a sea creature. This sea creature's riding on a, a, a woman. You perverted. Bunch of nasty kids. Y'all are disgusting. What is this? What is that? You thought you could hide the third booby just because you put it on the arm. Who do you think you're tricking? No, 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 don't, don't play stupid. I know what a Tata -ta looks like. She's destroying the community. Good job. I hope you're happy with all the sexuality and all the, the tangents everywhere. She's gone too far with this one. Kool-Aid. Either kill the students completely or just let them be. Either one. Leave my kitties alone, you bad from hell. So uh, let me know in the comments where cooling has, has touched you and, and put, put your art on the Discord so I can and roast you and, and you, I can draw over your art in the next video. <laughs> so, <laughs> come on, it's all fun. It's all, it's all fun. Nah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's okay, it's all fun. We're just having fun.